If you are looking to overcome adversity in engineering, particularly if you are a woman or minority engineer, then this video is for you. There's a couple quick tips coming up. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. If this is your first time here, guys, make sure you subscribe because I release videos two times a week for engineering success. If you want the 1% Engineer Kit and access to the Facebook group, follow the links below. And if you have a question about your engineering journey, leave a comment and I can make a video just for you. This video has some quick footage about a panel that I spoke for at Drexel a few weeks ago. It was for the Society of Women Engineers event called the Lives and Lessons of the Underrepresented in STEM. The event featured eight panelists for two different sessions. I spoke for the industry panelist session, and we talked all about how to overcome adversity, particularly for women and minority engineers. I was the only white male on the panel, and the reason I was up there is because I do interviews with women and minorities to inspire the next generation of underrepresented demos to go out into the world and crush it and succeed. So let's jump right into some tips about how you can overcome some barriers in your field. Uh, so at one of my co-ops, um, I was told that I almost didn't get the job because I was a woman and there just weren't any male um, applicants who had a good enough resume, so they like gave it to me. Um, and I was also told a couple times that like um, because I'm wearing makeup, I'm not looking like an engineer and I can't be taken seriously. Um, and so that has like really changed how I act in the professional realm. I find that like I kind of stop wearing makeup and wear more boy-like clothes and like kind of try to act like the boys. Um, but that's not really me. I'm a very feminine person. Um, so, but I don't want it to affect my career path negatively and my work negatively and my connections in work. Um, so I just kind of was wondering if you have any insight on like making that balance properly without it negatively affecting you. Yeah, that's definitely Great. ridiculous. I, I know that we said one panelist per response, but uh, just to directly... <laughs> Just to directly give you some sort of answer, I mean, you're always going to have people who tell you what they think you should be and what you should do in your life all the time. And the more success you, you accumulate in your, in your life, which I'm assuming that all of you are going to be massively successful, that's why you're here today, but you're, the, the more success you have, the more haters you're going to find as well, right? Always, always, seriously. But you have to be confident that you're going to be the person that you become. And Morgan mentioned something about figuring it out along the way. I call that hummingbirding, right? You're, you're trying to figure out what is best for you. You found the garden. You don't really know which flowers are your favorite yet. But it, the makeup thing, that's your choice. What you wear at work, that's your choice. If you speak up or if you want to be a leadership, these are your decision-making points that you have to figure out for yourself. And anyone who's telling you that, oh, no, you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that, speak up about it directly to them. Be like, well or just do it in your actions. Wear the makeup if you want. Dress how you like. Wear that skirt if you want. Whatever. So, Don't listen to the haters, guys. Seriously. They just hate. I'm sorry, but I just no, have to say Go for it. <laughs> Being who you are, you have options. Like, you're not... I hear this story a lot where I feel like I can't move. We are engineers. We are women. We can do what we want. So you don't have to stay in a situation. You can move to other companies, research companies. On yeah. my um, resume, my objective line says... I'm looking for a diverse <laughs> company that's into advanced technology somewhere alone. But the first thing is diverse. So you want to feel comfortable. I said to always like, how do you always be happy at work? I'm like, because I chose it. So you, you have to really, you know, don't change for anyone, but know that you do not have to stick. So there's so many opportunities and tech out there. Do not stay somewhere where you're not. Hey, 1% Nation, I hope you enjoyed that footage from the event at Drexel Sui. If you did, consider subscribing because I release videos two times a week for engineering success. Comment below if you have a question about anything in your engineering journey. And as always, guys, thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% Engineer. Cheers!